Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout 2. This is Colonel RPG, as usual, as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me uh, for another episode of this fantastic RPG. The best well, ever. Well now, I ain't seen you around before, stranger. Name's Cassidy. I run this place. What can I do for you? Yep, this is Cassidy. And if you've played this game without a restoration project, you know that Cassidy doesn't have a talking head, but now he does. Look at that. That's Cassidy. What does he have over there? Yep, he's got some sort of... Yep, that's Cassidy for you. Uh, could we barter with him? Does he have money that I ca could uh, perhaps uh, exchange for some goods? Hmm. Sell them. Sell him the apples. That's cool. That's cool. I'm just gonna keep one. And that's it. Thanks, that's a good trade. That's good. So, yeah, I'm looking for the vault. Vault? Only vault I know of is the one inside the city. Big friggin' hole. You can't miss it, trust me. Hmm. So what do you have to drink here? Beer for 20, shot of whiskey for 30. Nothing special. Why, you want something? Uh, actually, anything interesting going on around here? Interesting. <laughs> Friend, Vault City ain't an interesting place. Unless the guards get bored, then you better take cover. Why are you asking? You looking for something in this sinkhole? Man, the voice acting for Cassidy is pretty good. It's pretty good, man. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Uh, it, it blends in with the rest of the game. Um, it can't be that bad around here. Yeah. Oh, really? Well, hell then, I must be mistaken considering you're the authority and all. Guess you must have been napping during a raid last week. Raid? Oh, yeah. A beautiful sight it was. A guard patrol broke in here looking for illegal substances. They busted down the door, busted up my stock, and then busted up a few of my customers, too. Hmm. So what happened after that? After they hauled away this one guy, Joshua, for resisting arrest, they fined my ass for finding, get this, Real whiskey on the premises. Never mind that I got a permit from Stark three months before. Bastards. Man, no kidding. Oh, it gets better. Now I'm in debt to the guards for the fine, and I had to buy a new case of alcohol from a merchant at triple my standard rate. I'm expecting the guards to come knocking again soon just to bust my chops. Hmm. What's it like most of the time? Even the good days ain't worth the damn. The citizens don't drink much, so I'm stuck here pouring drinks for merchants. The next chief son of a bitch that haggles for a drink is going to be wearing his ass as a hat. <laughs> good, good man, Cassidy. Good man. So why are you here if you ate it so much? Uh, I have a bad heart. Need cardio booster shots to keep it beating. This city is the only place to get real medical care, so I thought I'd settle here, try and make a living. Yeah, but you sound pretty fed up with the place. Makes me want to close up shop and let this city rot. Screw them all. Why don't you leave? Go into the waste by myself? <laughs> I'm sick of this place, but I ain't stupid. Hmm. Well, I'm heading out that way again. Why did you come along? <laughs> you serious? Sure, why the hell not? You look like you know how to take care of yourself in a fight. Alright, count me in. Yeah, let's hit it. And that's Cassidy. What's up? You got that I'm pulling rank look again. <laughs> Cassidy, man, I'm loving this. I am absolutely loving this. This this voice actor is awesome. The, I mean, Cassidy is a great guy without the talking head, but right now, man, Cassidy is so cool. Actually, let's um, let's ask about stuff. First off, I will need to know uh, what kind of gear you use. My gear? What about it? Yeah, yeah, I don't I want to know about what kind of we weapons you can use. Well, shotguns and rifles mostly. Just personal preference. I ain't a bad shot with pistols, neither. Anything else? If you ever need to learn somebody some manners up close and personal, slip me some brass knuckles and I can tap dance on their face with my fists. <laughs> yeah, great. Anything else? Oh, uh, well, just between you and me, I can also use a spear pretty good. Me and my buddies used to hunt red scorpions with spears way back when. Fact I'm alive and they ain't might tell you something. Hmm. Yep, nothing wrong with using a spear. Don't want people mistaking me for old Bonos over there. 
I ain't never seen no tribal do something as dumb as jam a bone in his nose. <laughs> what? This is referring to Solik right there. Yeah, did you know that I am a tribal? Oh, don't be playing with old Cassidy now. You ain't no tribal. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. Oh, well, damn it all, you can have my apology right here and now. I didn't mean any offense. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, look, I have some questions. What's up? You got that? I need to tell you something you might not like look again. <laughs> this guy. Oh man, I'm absolutely in love with this bed. I, I can't believe that. I mean, after so many years playing Fallout, it's the restoration project. It, it really is. Ah, Cassidy. Ah, Faye, is, Faye is falling for this guy right now. Right now, she's falling. Uh, yeah, I need, um, I need combat control right now. So let's uh, first... So he's got leather armor, that's cool. I'm gonna customize his disposition right now. So burst, be absolutely sure you won't hit me. So that's the first companion that can um, that we can use that. So I'm gonna give him an assault rifle or maybe the FN fall. Let's check it out. So you need a tourniquet, uh, never run away. Never, absolutely never. Uh, so um, mm, ranged only. Uh, snipe the enemy. Attack uh, whoever uh, whoever you want is good. I don't want you not attacking. And cams when uh, hurt a lot. That's cool. I, mean, I don't have cams right now. I don't have many at least. So I'm gonna trade with you for now and see what you have. So you got a shotgun, a nice shotgun, a sawed-off shotgun with two uh, two shells. So uh, yeah, I didn't need to barter with him before. I'm just gonna take all of this. I'm gonna give you a nice weapon. Don't you worry, Cassidy. Don't you worry. <clears throat> and uh, that's it for now. I'll see you later. Uh, let's first uh, give this to, to Sulik. Not Sulik. Vic. It's that soundtrack again. I love that. I love that so much. Uh, so I'm going to give him all of this. I'm going to take the pistols because why the hell would he, would he want those? And I'm going to take... Uh, so he doesn't have... What I'm looking for. Sulik, what the hell are you? There you are. They all look the same wearing leather armor. So, uh, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna take the FN Fall for now and just compare them. So, the Assault Rifle has 45 range and 8 to 16 damage. And 9 to 18 damage from the FN Fall, but of course, the FN Fall uh, has less range and a uh, more a rarer, a rarer uh, kind of bullets. So yeah, that's not what I want to do. I want to want to give you the assault rifle right now. I want to take my what the hell is the ammo? There it is. So that's what Cassidy is gonna have. It's gonna have an FN fall, and hopefully I'm gonna be able to buy ammo for it. And uh, what's it's... up? You got that? I'm pulling rank. Look again. Yep. I just equip that, and it's fine. It's fine. Uh, actually, I could What's ask some mind? questions. Uh, never mind. Actually, well, now before you go, I got a question for you. What are we doing out here? We seem to be running all over the place looking for something. Have we got some sort of plan? Yeah, we're looking for a gek, Garden of Eden creation kit. My village needs it to restore the crops. Them things come in kits now, huh? <laughs> Man, the good book don't mention that, does it? Well, all right then. Let's get hunting. Yep, let's let's get hunting. Actually, let's ask what Sully to, be need? to consult the spirits for me. Spirits be willing to talk. What you want? About this place? Still waters don't run at all. That's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. So maybe Vic knows about something. Uh, what did you get? The Vault 13 water flask. Oh, we should be around here somewhere. Huh? What? What? What the? Oh, the guy that got you the Vault 13 water flask should be here somewhere. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. So stay close, please. And that's it for now. That's it for now. So that guy, that bar over there is gonna, f is gonna go out of business. Let's take the stuff that uh, Cassidy had over here. Uh, did I? Oh, I took that already. Or actually didn't take that already because there was nothing in there. And let's see what's up in this tent. 
with some guy, Charlie. Okay. You see a gaunt man, his hair is plastered to his head in ragged clumps, and his skin is hanging loosely on his body. Maybe radiation damage? Can I take your stuff? Actually, yeah, let's see if I can um, use my medical skill. Let's quick save. Uh, let's see what I can do with my medical skill. See if I... My doctor's skill is very poor. This man looks terribly sick. You're not sure what's wrong. Yeah, I know what's wrong. I know what's wrong. And I'm not willing to... Yep, I'm, I'm willing. I'm just gonna... What he has is radiation sickness, basically. And I gain 100 experience points and 3 karma. And it's still not... Okay, what the hell? Isn't that... Oh, okay. He feels better. Thanks, stranger. I appreciate your help. I couldn't afford the auto dock. Oh, that's cool. It's a pretty expensive drug. Right away, but whatever. Uh, so stern looking guard. Again, some karma. Help some guy. It's all cool. It's all cool. I mean, I have three, so I could give one to him. I mean, why not? Maybe he's not as uh, favored by the gods. He's not the chosen one of his village, but I mean, trying to share some of that uh, good fortune. Grumpy, a uh, grungy, grungy, grungy. What the hell does grungy means? Well, hello there, stranger. I'm Ed, the local Bremen dealer. Help you with something? Well, my friend Vic here says he, he bought a water flask from you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. That's been a long time, Vic. A water flask, huh? What about it? Well, he said he sold uh, um, a water flask to you. You got it? Oh, maybe that could spark my memory. Actually, I'll see if I can dig it up. I'll see you right back. So that's Vic, who has the water flask. Somewhere. Where the hell is Vic? Vic? Somewhere around here. Is that Cass? No, that's Cassidy. That's Sulik. And where the hell is Vic? Did he get in? Did not. Oh, that's Vic. Hello, Vic. Wait a minute. Let me talk with you. Stop! Okay. Man, it's a bit infuriating. I'm sure there's a way to... Um, to get the companions to stop somehow, but I... I don't know. There's a way with the restoration project, but I forget. I forget what it is. Uh, actually, yep, I'm looking a flask for you. Oh, yep, can you tell me the flask came from? Yeah, you know, I can't quite recall. I had a bunch of them for a long time. I think I picked them up during one of my Bremen drives. Didn't need them much when I settled down. Bremen drives? Well, well when, I was, when I was a lot younger, I used to drive Bremen through the uh, big circle. Broken Hills, New Reno, New Reno uh, Redding, The Dan, Modoc, then back here. I just got too dangerous after a while, so I settled here. And what? Where are those places? Well, let me mark it on your map. See, Broken Hills is south, bare west uh, on the trail from here, a uh, trail from here, and you'll hit Reno. Northwest of Reno is Redding, then it's north to the Dan, and he's to Modoc. Then he's here, Vault City. Any idea which of those places you got the flask from? Sorry, can't remember exactly. It was a long time ago. What do you want to know? I'm looking for the vault the flask came from. Oh, well, hell, it's a vault. If it's a vault you're looking for, then uh, there's one inside the Vault City. Vault 13 is inside Vault City? Oh, well, no, I don't think it's 13 exactly, but there's a vault. If that ain't one you're looking for, the Vault's central computer might know uh, might know where the, com the others are. They've damn near listed everything in it. Yep. Uh, so, I'm. Uh, what can you tell me about Vault City? Okay, place. If you can deal with the citizens, I don't agree with uh, some of their views, but hey, I make pretty good living here. Yep, that's how it goes. So what do you do around here? Sell Bremen to people who need them. Helps me pay the rent at this place. That's cool. Actually, can you... Can you please... Uh, sell me some stuff, perhaps? Buy some stuff for me? What's that? Rot gut, a very strong liquid. Lock liquor or cleaning fluid. You show, you decide. <laughs> uh, and uh, what else? What else can I sell? Uh, maybe some of this. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. I'll keep the money. You keep the food and booze. Uh, so this looks like Ed's place is the one I bought water flask from. Yeah, Vic, I know that. I know that. Oh, this is a well over here. What's up with the well? 
Oh, I'm radiated. You take a big gulp of the water well, it's usually warm. Unusually warm. Well, I'm gonna take some uh, anti-rad drugs then. Okay, that took 50... Uh, okay, I'm sure I could... Oh boy, that was bad. It was a bad decision. Yeah, I'm still radiated, but at least I'm not... Uh, I don't have the stats, the stat anymore. Uh, so let's visit... This is the clinic, so maybe they have a doctor's back. That's something that I've been looking for for a while now, because look at that. I'm crippled, Vic is crippled, everyone is dying. You here to get patched up? What's this place? Oh, this here's a common body shop from Vault City. Me and old doctor is in the back patch up, whoever needs some attention. Old doctor? Yeah, the other doctor in the back room there. That's a loner from the city. It can be a little, a little ordinary sometimes, but mostly he does his job. Mostly. Well, I'll see what I can do. Um, yeah, I'll take a look at it. Uh, but not right now, because my repair skill is absolutely... T Actually, hmm, I'm getting an idea. Uh, so let's barter first. Oh, he will not barter with me. That's bad. So basically, the uh, outer dock is broken. And we what we can do is fix it up. But unfortunately, Faye is not good at that kind of stuff. So this is locked. Let's unlock it. She's good at unlocking stuff. She is good at that. And let's take some of that. Uh, and is this the computer? You see a computer. Okay. Let's apply science to it. Fail to learn anything. That's okay. So let's quick save. Now let's have Vic fix that up. And he says, okay. I'm gonna fix that up. See if that works. And... I feel... I Okay, so you examined the autodoc, but you can't seem to figure out the problem. I'll try again. And uh, you examine the auto dock, but you can't seem to feel. Okay, come on. You can do it, Vic. Yeah, am I still radiated? I am not anymore. So I probably didn't need to use. Oh, there you go. The damage wasn't as bad as it seems. Some uh, uh, interior cables needed to be replaced and a diagnostic board cleaned. No problem. So that's that's good. That's very good. Maybe he'll offer me a free job. Uh, so old doctor. Yeah, I replaced some of the cables and cleaned out the, the interior. It was me, not Vic. It was me. It shouldn't give you any more trouble. Oh, well, thank you very much. Oh, this was... That, that was very decent of you to volunteer to fix it like that. Hmm. Uh, any chance I could get a discount? Hell no! I didn't ask you to fix it so you don't get Jack. I, w I, I wouldn't push your luck as long as the guards are in earshot. Mm, yeah, well then, you're welcome. Okay, so, yeah, I could use some medical attention, uh, and it kind of cost me 150 bucks. Mm, that's pretty steep. How about 50? Well, all right. That sounds fair. So, he just said I wasn't going to get any special treatment, but he just gave me 50 bucks. Okay, let's get to it then. I'll just hook up, uh, just, just hook you up to old doctor here, and, uh, slip your arms into the slots there, and I'll tighten the braces and secure the clamps, and... All right, knew the old doctor will let me down. Well, glad that's taken care of. See you later. And uh, of course, Vic is still crippled, but I'm not anymore. So that's good news. Vic could, uh, I mean, oh, look at that. Epi, what's that? Epi Harry's sign. Oh, is he gonna sell stuff or buy stuff? Because that's kind of an important thing for me right now. Can I get into his back room, maybe? Yeah, I can, good. Is there anything in here? Just old boxes? That's all right. So, hello, Happy Harry. Short, jovial man. Well, hello there! What can I do for ya? Well, I'm looking to trade. Uh, can I see what you have in stock? Sure thing, Mala! Mala? What the hell? What the hell? I'm inventing words! So you just peruse my brow- Just peruse my brows? Well, I'm dyslexic right now. I'm dyslexic, I apologize. Anyway, just peruse my things, my stock. And you'll be fine. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Oh, that's a nice one. That is a nice price for it, for that uh, thing over there. Woohoo! That's pretty... Man, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, sure! Oh, I know why the price was higher, because it's loaded. It's There's a loaded weapon right here. Somewhere, there's a loaded weapon. Not anymore, though. Not anymore. Not anymore! <laughs> so, let's take uh, 111. That's good. Actually, will you take my... Apples? Ah, sure, I'll take them apples. Giggity. Uh, let's not forget that Faye is gifted, after all. 
So she is packing some nice set of uh, bumpers. Anyway, anyway, it's just the character that we're playing. It's just the character that we're playing. Uh, and uh, see if uh, Vic has something. Uh, Cassidy, actually. Maybe Vic does have something. Come here, Vic. Come the hell here. And he has... Well, he does have something, but not something that I want or need. So right now, that's gonna be fine. Actually, I, I will just um, give him my... Uh, that. And the rest can stay with me. Thank you. So, apparently, that was that. And Happy Ares doesn't have much... Flaw? Yep. Uh, doesn't have much for me. So I've been to the clinic. I've been everywhere. That's cool. That's cool. So let's go up north and travel further into Vault City. This is the customs office. And let's not go there right now. Let's... Can I... Can I see that? I can. Thank you. The God of... The God of War. The, vo the Fog of War sometimes gets in the way of me clicking on stuff that I want. Hello, traveler. Hello, fine gentleman. I'll see you later. No, don't go, oh, okay, don't go that there. Was that someone there? It is a... She's keeping her eyes, her eyes firmly fixed on the ground. Healthy looking woman. Okay, so... Uh, so this guy's... This guy's... Sh this should be Wallace? Wallace assistant. Skeev, stay away from there. Sorry, I apologize. Didn't mean to, uh, to get in trouble. Oh, look, outsider, if you know, if you got customs business, Wallace is in the back there, okay? He'll set you up uh, with all the forms you need. And what's this place? This is the customs office. Like the sign outside says, if you haven't got the customs business, what are you doing here? Well, I'm looking, I'm, I'm looking to get inside the city. Well, you could get to see my boss, Wallace, or try to get permission to get inside. But you'd be wasting your time. He never lets it, he never lets anybody in. Of course, there's other ways. Hmm. I'm not into sexual favors, man. What other ways? Well, if you got the cash, then I'll go into detail. Otherwise, well, sure, I got the money. What? What are you selling? Well, for two hundred bucks, I can make you a full-fledged citizen. You'll have free passage through the gate. No hassles. I can print out the papers, register your serial number, and have you on your way. In five minutes. Hmm. Hmm. What if I told somebody that you were peddling citizenship papers? Simple. They wouldn't believe you. You're an outsider. I'm a citizen. Guess whose words you're going to drive. You're going to believe. Hmm. Okay. And I'll take the citizenship papers. But for 150, not 200. 200 and nothing, outsider. It's the only way you're going to get inside the gate. Well, I'll take the citizenship papers then. Alright, there you go. They're all done printing, and here you are. Citizen. <laughs> and don't let anyone about... Don't tell anyone about this. Especially Wallace. Alright. And what if I do? I could go tell him right now that you're selling fake citizenship papers. What the? Nobody's gonna believe you, outsider. You'll, it'll, it'll, it'll be your word over mine. Again, normally it'll be, but uh, these fake papers speak for themselves. And they will, unless you can pay for their... Sir, for their... What's that? Silence. Silence. Oh. Oh, 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 boy, you dirty. Careful. I'd wash your tongue if I were you. Oh, all right. I got a little cash stashed away. Here, take it. 300 bucks. Now, you gonna keep it quiet? Well, as far as you know, see ya. I'm not gonna keep it quiet. I am not. Wallace! That guy over there! Hello, traveler. Welcome to Vault City. Is there anything I can help you with? Well, I believe your assistant, Skeev, is being a little skeevy and selling illegal documents. What? Who are you to be accusing a Vault citizen of anything? Well, he sold me this uh, fake citizenship, you see? Here, take a look. Skeev? Oh man, this is how I'm repaid for taking him in as my son? He shall be dealt with, I assure you. Thank you for your assistance, outsider. For my troubles, could I get a day pass, please? Because I kind of want to get inside the city. Very well, you've earned it. Here we go. The pass is only good during the day. At night, you will be asked to leave the city. Citizens also reserve the right to cancel day pass privileges at any time, so behave yourself. 
Understood. Thank you. So I got a day pass. And uh, I lost five. I lost three karma for some reason. I don't know why. So this slightly clump, crumpled piece of paper grants you access to areas, to all areas of Vault City, except the vault itself during daylight hours only. So Skiv is nowhere to be found, and that's gonna be my ticket to rob this place. Unfortunately, of course, bookshelves never have anything. <sighs> so can I go in? Oh, actually, I cannot. So I, I don't need. Uh, yeah, I, I was just stopping by and see how are you doing. I don't have time for small talk, all right? Now get out of here. Yep, I'll see you later. So there's a reason why I was kind of... Uh, so we got drugs on us. That's problematic. That's really problematic. So I'm gonna give the drugs to Cassidy. Because he's not gonna take them. I'm sure he's not gonna take them. And uh, so that's some uh, red X. So that's buff out. That's r drugs. That's trauma. Well, whatever. Psycho. That's drugs as well. And all the rest is cool. Booze is also not allowed inside a city. So basically, what I'm doing here is uh, getting inside. Yeah, here you go, my day pass. All right, before you go in, we have to search your belongings. What for? Sometimes outworlders will try to smuggle alcohol or addictive drugs into Vault City. Buff out, jet, psycho, mentats, that sort of thing. Yep, okay, so feel free to search me, not my companions. All right, it looks like you're clean. You head on in. Thank you. And another way to smuggle things in if you don't have companions, just drop them on the ground, they search you, then you pick them up and you go in. So this is the inside of Vault City. We got a tap house over here. We got a little garden over here with some guy over there. Uh, just a normal guy. We got a, uh, what's that? What's that? Building a sign, okay. We got uh, the servant allocation center over here. We got plenty of things to explore. And this is gonna be a, li a, li a big city, actually. That's gonna be for tomorrow. In the meanwhile, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout 2. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see you next episode. Bye bye!